So you have you should have this right click sense free link where you have to give a bit of your information. Or if you are with me. Yeah, is it necessary to give the business email or just a personal email? Okay. You can give personal email. You can give personal email. Uh, I have used my personal email to do that. Thank you. Okay, and a uh, couple of more things. I'm going to give first name and last name and give uh, personal email and next, right? Or you need to wait yes, time? yes. So you give your first name, last name, and give your personal email, do next, and then you will have company. You can write whatever you want. It doesn't actually track anything, okay? So you can give company. I had given Gmail. You can give any company, okay? Phone and country and activate my trial. You will get a link on your click on activation link. You will get a link in your email ID. Then you have to click on that active activation link that will activate your ClickSense cloud version. Yes, and if so I can get that uh, hub page. You can get that hub page, perfect. Okay, now that is one step. And when you get the hub page, you will see something like this, right? It might be blank for you. I have no, to laugh. So actually it's asking the one pop-up, welcome to the click uh, code. What is your experience with the click? What are you trying to achieve with your trial? Like that you can ask him. Okay, yes. You can just say uh, exploring product. Okay. There are a few options there. You can select whichever you want. Doesn't really, it is just a way to get survey responses from user to understand how they are using click. You can select whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, I will go back to hub. This is my hub. Okay, here I will click on hub. this NK. Go to profile settings, and on the left side there is an option called tools. Okay. Okay. I click here. Hmm. I will see ClickSense desktop. Okay, and this okay. is where I will download. And authentication will also happen from here once I have downloaded. Okay. So the process is once you have ClickSense desktop downloaded and installed on your system, you have to authenticate it through ClickSense cloud. That's where this link will come. Okay, so first step is you need to install on your system, which is not yet done. So all of you need to install it. And another way to install it is uh, another way to download it is actually. Let me use another link. Have your uh, downloads, right? Let's use this one. So you can actually download it from their download catalog also. You just need to set up a few things. This is how the download catalog will look like. And it has all the tools, not just ClickSense. If you see, there is ClickView, ClickSense Desktop, Enterprise Governance Dashboard, Migration Tool, Data Integration Tools, whatever you want. You can download all these things. Okay, there are some value added uh, alerting connector, SAP connector, geo analytics, and other things. For us, we want ClickSense, so data analytics, and then ClickSense Desktop. I selected this is my ClickSense Desktop, and this is my download link. I have already downloaded it. That's why it is. Uh, I don't want to download it again. The size is 830 MB, and it's an August 2022 version. It's a technical preview. It's actually a version which is not yet released. It is under technical preview, the one which I have already downloaded. Uh, uh, you can install ClickSense Desktop, right? Uh, you can to do for data transfer enterprise manager or uh, other things you just have to do click sense desktop okay okay just this one so if you want to the one i have kept is actually a downloaded copy of this so you can directly download it from google drive if you want or you can download from here as well yeah i downloaded last one i shared like tools from there okay sounds good so now all of you have exe and all of you have click sense cloud setup done Here one yes, how about others? You can give your reactions. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, no. I checked with my manager regarding the application installation. Uh, there is an app which is available in Vector Society portal, so he asked us to drop an email for uh, placing that access. So I will do that. And I feel that by next session you will have it, right? Uh, yeah, most probably it should be. Okay. Because it is good to have app installed on your system, it will make it easier for you to use it and understand it when you are doing it yourself, right? OK, all right, so. Let's get started again. So what I have done, I already have ClickSense app installed on my system. OK, so typically uh, how it gets installed is I will bring my screen here. So how it gets installed is wherever you are installing it, let's say you are installing it in C, C drive or documents, wherever you install, it will create these folders on your system. OK, so apps is the folder where you have to keep your QDFs, which are your click files, click sense files. So QDF is the one which has 
the UI of the app, right? It has the uh, the UI and obviously it has the data as well. So it comes with both UI and data. It, it, it has stored the UI and the data which is used for the app. When I say UI, all the charts, right? Whatever you see in the front end of the dashboard is actually stored here in, in this QVF. So let's say you have created one QVF, when you have created one dashboard, you saved it on your local ClickSense desktop. It will be saved under this folder, ClickSense apps. You can take that file, send it to anyone and share it. They can also put this file in the apps folder. It will start showing up in their hub. OK, so you need to put file in apps folder. When I say file, a QVF file in apps folder to show up in hub. And whatever you build in hub, as soon as you save, it goes back in the apps folder. So you will find a copy of it in apps folder. So apps folder is direct interface to hub. Now, apart from apps, you will find extension also. Extensions are some of the charts or some of the features which are created beyond standard ClickSense objects. For example, by standard, you get a bar chart, right? You get a pie chart in ClickSense. But let's say you want to create a Sankey chart. That doesn't come as default with ClickSense. You need to download extension or those extensions are at times packaged by ClickSense itself. But they are extensions which kind of increase or enhance the power of ClickSense, but doesn't come as by default charts. All of that will be saved here under extensions. For example, if you go to visualization bundle, you will find a lot of additional things beyond the standard chart. If you see there is a Sankey chart, there is a smart pivot, there is a radar chart, network chart, multi KPI, heat map, funnel chart. There are so many smart charts which are not standard charts. You will find under extensions visualization bundle. These, these, these are coming by default with ClickSense installation. I haven't added anything extra. All of that comes under extensions. Log is where you will find the script log and the QIX engine log. Okay. When it is started, when it is stopped, what it is doing, everything is captured in the log. Content is where any image you use in your ClickSense file QVF, you need to put that image in the content folder to access it. Okay. But first I, I would just ignore and uh, let's open the settings file. So your ClickSense browser will have some of the information, your recently used hub ID, your ID, your name and stuff like that. Okay. But this is the folder which you should be aware of once you have installed. An important thing is this folder apps where you keep your apps or from where you, you can take your app and share with someone else. This is my ClickSense desktop. I, as soon as I open, uh, and it's a standard way to open. You just have to search for it. Once it is installed, you will just search for it. It will open, right? You need to give your email ID and password, and that's the same email ID and password with which you had uh, set up your click cloud. OK. Now, they, so actually, uh, I joined a little bit of two minutes late. So actually, uh, my desktop is installed. When I click this, it's uh, asking the authentication link. Yeah. yeah. For your authentication link, authentication link you will find in your click cloud. Okay, so okay. this is where you find. Come here and click here. Oh, under okay. under your profile, mm -hmm. to click and desktop, you will come and authenticate from here. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now this is this is your click sense desktop hub. You can open same thing on the browser as well. It, it's your personal choice how you want to work with click sense. You can open it in your browser as well. If you are opening it on your browser, the address is localhost 4848 hub my work. So you will just put localhost hub, it will open up. And lo localhost is your system, right? And it is installed on port 4848. That's why it is localhost 4848. It will show up your hub here and you can do same thing which you are doing in the desktop app. You can do on the browser using this address. 